Hello, and welcome to the West Coast Drywall and Paint video training series. Today, we have one of our best painters, Jose. He is going to show us how to properly prime slash undercoat paint grade interior doors, closet doors, closet shelving, and stair rails. Proper setup is paramount for any type of spraying. This includes ground containment for any possible material spills and the use of strainers to ensure that clean, filtered paint is running through the airless spray pump, spray lines, spray guns, and the tip filters. Pour paint through the strainer bag, then make sure to scrape the sides of the paint bucket to ensure we use every last bit of paint in the bucket. The tools that are necessary for this task are a paint spray gun, a spray pump, a filter tip, 4 fifteenths or 5 fifteenths spray tip, a tip cap with guard. The protective equipment needed for this task are a respirator with cartridges, gloves, spray hood, body coverall. Now that we have all of our tools and our protective gear on, let's get started. The first thing you will want to do is make sure that the surface you are going to paint and all surrounding surfaces are clean and free of debris. Let's assemble the spray gun together so that we can initiate paint spraying. Start by putting the tip filter into the spray gun. Then add the tip, followed by the tip cap and the guard. Before you begin painting, make sure to do a test pattern on the floor to ensure a full, consistent fan. If you see lines, increase the pressure of the spray pump. Adequate pressure is important for a good finish. The pressure cannot be too high or too low. Important things to look at when watching this video are the spray man's posture, surface to gun, the bending, the wrist action, and the start to finish pattern. So now, let's start spraying doors. You want to start on the inside casing, ensuring your fan is hitting the area at the correct angle. From the casing, you will move on to the door, making sure to make one pass through it with the spray gun about six inches away from the door. When you're spraying, you will want to extend your arm and bend your wrist to ensure you remain parallel with the door at all times. This will make sure that the door receives a consistent amount of product throughout and minimal waste while allowing for speed and accuracy. When you are painting the door, make sure that the door is not closed to the wall. This will prevent overspray from creating a buildup known as a picture frame on the adjacent wall. You will want to spray the front of the door first, then close the door and paint the door and the casing simultaneously. Then move on to the door top and the edges of the casing. Then take your line out and finish the outside casing. After you have completed painting the door, make sure to double check your work for proper coverage. Repeat these steps for all regular doors. Now, we will move on to painting the closet shelving. Ensure the area is clean and free of debris. Make sure that the shelving edges have been done by brush. Start with the top of the shelf, keeping the gun parallel to the surface, and follow this technique for painting the underneath side of the shelving. Check your work for full coverage. Now we will move on to the closet doors. Start by painting the back side of the closet doors. Then move on to the front side of the doors using a technique shown by the spray man. Take a minute here and observe how he works.
Then, paint the closet door side edges along with the header. Last, paint the closet bumpers and check your work for full coverage. Lastly, we will be painting the handrails. Make sure the staircase is clean and free of debris. Prior to starting, make sure that all surfaces are not to be painted and are masked off. As stated before, proper distance and parallel spraying is a must. Start by spraying the spindles, ensuring there is a good seal on all four sides, as shown here by the spray man. You will want to spray the spindles from four different angles dispersing the same amount of paint on each given angle to allow for full coverage. Now let's move on to the base plate. To paint the base plate, keep the paint gun parallel to the surface, as shown here by our spray gun. Both the top and the underneath side of the base plate need to be painted. Make sure to check your work for proper coverage. Do a great job, and you're fast at what you're doing, you can make a lot of money with us. We will see you next time at West Coast Drywall and Paint, where the sun always shines.